Uh, Julia, this beating so brutal, the attackers broke Kim Rolf's vocal cords. She doesn't know why they broke into her home that night. The last thing she says she saw three criminals, one with a gun, all wearing clown masks. Now we caution, some of the pictures are disturbing. Kim Rolf still can't put on makeup today. I had um, 17 blows to my head, uh, 10 on my head itself and seven on my face. It's still too painful after the violent November 17th attack in her Council Bluffs home on Ash Street. They barged in and all I would see was all I could see was a clown mask ready to hit me. And then I was out. Take a look at Kim before the beating. Now after. The next thing I remember I came to um, gasping for air because I was being strangled. My hands were tied behind my back. Kim says with a gun to her head, they use this towel wrapped with duct tape to strangle and gag her. My vocal cords were broken. I didn't even know you could break them. The attackers also left her with a broken nose, a broken eye socket, stitches, and plenty of bruises and scratches. Kim believes this assault was random. If they knew me, they would know that they wouldn't have to do all those things to keep me down. Because what am I going to do, run down the street? Kim couldn't escape because she's missing a leg. A head-on crash claimed it nine years ago. Losing my leg was nothing compared to this. Nothing. The loss then may have saved her now. The invaders found Kim's painkillers and left. He immediately put his gun back in his coat and told me that if I moved, he would kill me. And I just did what I was told. The retired VA nurse eventually made it to a neighbor for help. And more than anything, Kim wants the attackers caught and to be able to wear makeup once again. There's a reason that I'm here. I definitely believe that. And she doesn't have much of a description of the attackers because they wore masks. Council Bluffs police tell us the leads have run out and they are looking for any information. Kim has more surgeries ahead and she has a GoFundMe account set up. We have a link in my story on KETV.com.